so let us take a part 2 of this auto loader now so uh, before we proceed i will just drop off some files here inside my input container input stream i'll drop this file uh, pep file and let me uh, start writing that stream again but why i want to write the stream again is one of the reason what i wanted to show you is okay we created an auto loader but the data type is all string type string 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 how it is string type because your id salary should be your integer uh, integer type right it is not inferring the correct column data types it is not inferring the column data types we have some options you can use when you are ingesting in the auto loader like then option we used it like a uh, schema location like that we have some different options we can use to get a correct data type so let me copy this entire script let me paste it here and let me go here and just write auto loader options in databricks in databricks now let me open up one option here i prefer using and microsoft azure's documentation guys yeah so Uh, but aws also gives the same one not a big deal you can see there are so many options covering all might not be possible now but depending on the use case you can come back to this document and you can start looking into detail about the auto loader options okay we will cover few of the options now okay like format we have already used you can use all this formats for now maybe in future they might increase it so we have used csv file now uh, we might use json also parquet also supports and text file also supports yeah so what i am talking about is your inferring column types what does infer column type means whether to infer the exact column types when you are leveraging the schema inference by default the columns are inferred as string you can see the document it is inferred as string just now we have seen by default it is string only when inferring the json and csvs no i want and the default value is false no i want to infer the schema so you have to use this option so let me copy this come back to the ingesting file our notebook and here i'll just put a dot option option and then pass and cloud files infer schema and just make it to true make it to true now before i execute it before i execute it we have already defined we have already defined auto loader path we have already defined it so what i will do i'll just separate out it i will separate out it by just saying that i this is our auto loader 1 auto loader 1 auto loader 1 so i want to change the new folder inside my name auto loader 1 this auto loader 1 will info the schema and i'll get a new table also with the name called auto loader 1 so because i won't uh, disturb the previous one this is without the schema with this is with schema so now after this we are going to apply some more option so that's why i just wanted to separate out it with the new name so let me execute this let me execute now so i'll get end up getting a new table and i should get a correct column data types because i've used an infer column types for that let me go to my data explorer let me have a quick refresh here and in that we have an auto loader one a new table coming up let us check it inside your hive catalog let me go and see you got an auto loader one and now you can see the data type is automatically detecting it beautiful you can see that you don't need to worry about that if you look at auto loader just a table where you got all string type and we got a new column uh, sorry we got a new table auto loader one where we have detected the data type by only one option that is inferring column types as a cloud files dot infer column types we can easily detect the data types thank you for watching this video guys so in the next video we will see if your data is getting changed so what options we can take
so now we have used only info column types to get the correct data types so if you like this video guys please share it with your friend like the video subscribe to my channel keep learning thank you